Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this half shaker and half ribbon hair bow. I filled mine with some little snowballs, so I went for a Christmas theme. These are just like little polystyrene balls. I've got a little North Pole embellishment and I've also got some clay snowflakes and some glitter in there as well to add a little bit of shimmer. And little girls just love these hair bows, so let's get to it. I got these shaker pockets from AliExpress and these measure 10 centimetres or around 4 inches by just under 6 inches or 15 centimetres and these are actually quite big as you can see if I was to make a single bow out of this if I just sort of give it a rough pinch in the middle just so you can see that would make a rather large hair bow. Now you might like a larger size hair bow, but I don't like mine too big. So I do cut these down. This is one that I've cut down already. So I've got like this half pocket because obviously we're doing a half shaker bow. So as you can see, it's open on one end, sealed in the other. And to get this, I took my shaker pocket, fold it in half, making sure it is straight because you don't want it wonky and then I measured I used my board to measure but I'll show you with my tape measure I measure six centimeters from the sealed end and I cut this piece off so I've got my scissors here. I use Fisker's fabric scissors. Again, I'm using my board. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this line here is where I want to cut it off. So I'm just going to slide this under, making sure it's in line. And that is where I'm going to cut it off. All the way up. So this piece you can dispose of and then you have two halves of shaker packets and these are six centimetres by around 10 centimetres. So that is the measurement of this pocket here. And then I've got three pieces of ribbon. And these are all one and a half inch wide ribbon or four centimetres wide. And they are cut to 12 centimetres in length or around four and three quarter inches in length. And that is three pieces. So basically you want to cut your ribbon twice the width of this. So this is six centimetres. If you make it a wider, so if you have a wider bow, say you wanted to cut yours to seven centimetres, you will then double your ribbon and cut that to 14 centimetres in length. Taking a lighter, I'm going to heat seal all of the ends of my three pieces of ribbon and this just stops any further frying and get rid of any existing frays. So I've heat sealed all of the ends of my ribbon now. So starting with the ribbon, I'm going to layer this up so it's the same width as my shaker pocket. So this will obviously be the middle, this open edge, which is where you fill your shaker pocket and this edge is sealed. So this will be the middle of the bow, this will be the outside edge. So with the outside edge in line with the ribbon, I'm going to layer my ribbon so it's the same width as my shaker pocket and then lay my third piece of ribbon over the top. So as you can see, it ends up around just over a centimetre overlap. You can just see through the ribbon there. So with that in mind, I'm going to pick up the first two pieces, making sure that it is straight. So as you can see, I've got those overlapped straight. Taking my lighter, again, I'm just going to melt the fibres on the ends and give it a little squish. And that will just hold those pieces of ribbon together. I'll do the same on the other end. Again, making sure it is straight. 
using my lighter to melt those fibres just to hold those together. Then I'm going to take the third piece and do the same. So this middle piece, you want that on the top. And I'm doing this by eye. I'm overlapping at the same distance as this side. And again, taking my lighter, just bond those together to hold them in place. Same with the other end. So making sure it is straight. Melt those fibres and push those ends together. So this is what we've got now. Next, taking a needle and a strong thread, I'm going to pick up my ribbon and fold it in half. And we're going to aim for eight stitches across this end to form a pinch. So we're going to go in through the first corners, through the top, one. The second stitch is going to come up in the middle, so in the middle of where this piece is. So coming back up through the bottom, that's our second stitch. And then our third stitch catching this corner. Fourth stitch. Fifth stitch, sixth stitch again coming up back through the corners, seventh stitch again in the middle of these this end piece here, so back through, and then our last stitch coming up through the last corners. So you end up with two in this section, four in this section, and then the last two in this section. And then I'm going to pull this tight to form a pinch. And once you're happy that's in there nice and tight, I'm keeping it pinched together with my thumb and finger. I'm going to go through that last edge once. And then on this second go, I'm going to go through this loose loop before I pull it tight couple of times and that will just form a knot to hold that in place so that I can trim off my excess thread and I'm just going to pop a knot in the end of this because we will be needing this again in a minute oh that's already formed a knot itself that's that's handy save me a job just cut that tail end off and pop that to one side so this is the ribbon half of the bow now these ends can still slide about, so what I like to do is on this underside, taking my hot glue gun, making sure that it is even and the same width as my shaker pocket. Obviously it's a little bit more pinched in now, so it's slightly smaller. I like to pop a little bit of hot glue just under that layer and I do this on the underside so that it doesn't show through the top side just a tiny little dot of glue and that will just stop those from sliding I don't think that side came out because my hot glue gun's not properly warmed up so I'll just do that side again so that is now done ready the half the ribbon half of the bow so I'm going to set this aside and now we're ready to add all our little bits inside our shaker pocket so I've got these poly maclay snowflake shapes here I'm going to just pull some of these out I like to count out seven of the dark blue and seven of the light blue so one two three four five, six, seven, so that's the dark blue, three, four, five, six, seven of the light blue. And then I'm just going to set some of these white ones aside because we will use those on the ribbon at the end. So about eight of those. 
and then the rest I'm just going to put back. I've also got this little pot of glitter. This actually came in a set of eight with all these different colours. These are gorgeous. I use these on my clays as well because I make my own clays. And I'm going to use this white mix because it's sort of iridescent. It's got some blue tones in there. It does really look like sort of frosty, icy sort of glittery look. So I'm going to use this glitter. And then these little polystyrene balls. Now, let me get these out carefully because they do go everywhere. So I've got these from my local supermarket out of all the places and I bought a couple of bags of these because I made my own snow globe. I have actually got a tutorial for this. I will pop the link in the corner here now. So I made my own snow globe and these are just polystyrene mini balls and I thought these would also be really good for shaker bows because they're so cheap, very inexpensive to buy. So I've just popped a clip on the end because these just do get everywhere. Because they're polystyrene, they're like static. So yeah, I will have to get my vacuum out when I'm done. They remind me of the little polystyrene balls, but smaller version, like what you get in those bean bags. And you know what they're like. They are literally static and they just go everywhere. So I'm just trying to find the opening of my sleeve, which can be fiddly. There you go. And I pour... my polystyrene balls into my sleeve first a little bit more you can add as much or as little as you like i've got a good sort of couple of teaspoons in there i would say or one tablespoon i'm just going to pop my clip back on here so that i don't get these polystyrene balls everywhere i've also got this bag in another bag just in case because like i say it's just they are messy. So that is what it looked like so far. And then I'm going to take my snowflakes and just sprinkle those in there, the blue ones. Again, the white ones I'm not going to use because they don't show against the polystyrene. I'm going to use them on the ribbon half of the bow instead. So we've got those blue snowflakes in there now. And then I've got some tweezers with sort of a flat stubby end. I'm going to carefully open up my glitter. And we're just going to add round two sort of pinches of this glitter. one more I'm just mixing it and trying to get to the bottom because uh, a lot of the smaller pieces are at the bottom so you've got a shimmer in there now carefully lay that down whilst I remove my glitter out of the way so I don't spill it and then last but not least to add into my shaker pocket is this cute little North Pole embellishment. Now this is actually a Crocs embellishment which you put into the holes of your Crocs but these bits here you can easily remove them just by using scissors or a craft knife and I just kind of bend it back and get my scissors and carefully edge around starting to come off as you can see the scissors are starting to slide underneath there like that so I've removed that end and as you can see it hasn't affected the front at all again carefully picking up my pocket I'm going to slip this in the top corner like that and then making sure everything is all down the bottom end. I'm going to grab my lighter and we're just going to melt the shaker pocket just to bond the edges together. So I'll start up this end first.
this does melt very easily this the shaker pocket plastic so as you can see these edges are melting and that is just holding that edge together you don't have to touch it like I do I know it's a little bit dodgy but I just like to do it just to make sure it's pushed together but you probably could just get away with doing that and leaving it but that's just me I just like to make sure and then I'm just going to go across a couple times more and then leave that to cool And then grabbing my needle and the thread again, we're going to do the same amount of stitches as we did on the ribbon half. So eight across. So going in through the first corner. One. Two. three, four, five, six, seven, Then our last one through the last corner for eight. So it's hard to see on here, but you basically want to visualize where the center is and then have one, two, three, four center, one, two, three, four either side. You could use a little marker pen or something to mark out your dots if you want to make it really even. But because I've been doing this for a while, I like to do mine by eye. So I'm just pulling in that pinch now. And as I did with the ribbon, once I've got it super tight, I just catch a couple of those last corner pieces and go through and then go through again on the second go. But before I pull it completely tight, this time I'm going to go through this loop a couple of times and that will form that knot to hold it in place so I can trim off that excess thread. my north pole sign back up to the top corner you don't have to do that that's just where I like it to sit so that is that half of the shaker bow now complete so now we're ready to join these two together so grabbing my hot glue gun I'm going to pop some hot glue in this middle. Now hot glue and these shaker pockets don't really work amazingly together, but they will hold in place just enough for now. Because when we add our clip and wrap the centre, that will reinforce these two halves together anyway. So I do just rely on the hot glue for now, just to hold these two halves together. So once they're held in place for now. So taking this 45 millimeter double pronged clip, I've just wrapped it with this white shimmery one centimeter wide ribbon. This ribbon is like a sort of shimmery velvet feel and I thought that worked really well with this bow. And I like to use that on my clip. So when I pop it underneath, because it's white and shimmery, it doesn't show too much through the see-through pocket. So I'm now going to add this to the underside of my bow. And then again, taking the same ribbon, this shimmery one, I'm going to use this to wrap the center. So again, I'm just going to heat seal the raw edge, pop some glue on that end, and starting on the underside of the clip, central to the hair bow. So I'm sticking it central on the hair clip. 
I'm going to start wrapping this around my bow. On the first go round, I like to add a little bit of glue just on the join, just to make sure that the ribbon doesn't slide and reveal the join. And this will also help to reinforce the two halves together. And then I'm going to go round again for a second time. And this time I'm going to trim it off where I need it. Heat seal that raw edge. And then finish by sticking that down under the clip. So this is what we've got so far. And now I'm going to add our white snowflakes to the ribbon side. Now to do this, you could use some super glue if you wanted to. I don't like to use hot glue because I don't really rely on it with the clay. These will just peel off. I use this gemstone glue. Now this is good for adding pearls, sequins, rhinestones to any clothing. And this is actually washable once it's dry. So you can actually use this on clothing and wash it afterwards. So it's super strong once it sets. It does take around 15 hours to set though. But it is worth it. I use it on my ribbon with the clays. And I leave these sort of overnight. And I know that once it's set that they're not going to go anywhere. So I've got eight snowflake clays to scatter around. So I go for two on this piece four in this area and then another two on this half. So I'm going to pop a blob of glue there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is for all eight snowflakes and then again taking my tweezers that I used earlier I'm going to gently lay the snowflakes into that gemstone glue and there you go here we have our half shaker and half ribbon hair bow all of the products that I've used in this tutorial today is linked in the description below I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you did please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you press the bell button that will turn on notifications. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye!